Hey guys, I'm back here for a new video, and in this video, I'm just going to be answering the questions that I got on my Q&A video. Um, I've got a few here, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it. But before I do, I just want to say thanks to everybody who uh, asked me questions. And um, yeah, I've got some pretty cool ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get started. So the first question is from River Plouffe. And uh, he has been uh, subscribed to me and commenting on my videos for a long time now. And um, he's got two questions. And the first one is, if you ever had to direct a movie, which actors or actresses would you like to have cast on the spot? And his second question is, how old were you when you first saw Casper? Well, for the first question, um, I really like this question because there's a lot of actors that I think would be really cool to... Um, would be cool to maybe to direct um, in a movie. Um, I would like to get actors that um, can uh, play different characters. You know, actors that can just fall into a certain character and, um, you know, can just become that character really well. So for me, maybe somebody like um, Leonardo DiCaprio, someone like maybe Johnny Depp, or, um, you know, who, who else? Um, I don't know, probably maybe Jack Nicholson. You know, somebody that I know that can pretty much play any any character that you would want them to play. Because all three of those actors, you know, they've been in so many different movies. They've played so many different characters and, uh, you know, so many iconic characters. So I would want actors that would be, actors or actresses that would be able to just play, um, you know, you give them a character and they can become that character. And so definitely, you know, maybe Leonardo DiCaprio or, or Johnny Depp, Jack Nicholson, um, people like that. Um, because those are actors that I've, I've always looked up to, you know, I've, I've enjoyed, you know, the majority of their work. And, um, I think that, you know, they would be able to fall in to whatever character and just play whatever character I'd want them to. So probably um, somebody that would know that, that. I mean, I, I'm sure if there are more. I just can't really think about anyone right now. But um, those would probably be, um, you know, if I was looking for an actor, those would probably be some of the three. See, the thing is, is that when I think about a uh, movie idea, I don't really think about who I would want to cast in it. I mostly just focus on the actual story. Um, I don't really focus on, you know, all, you know, if I had this character in a movie, who would I want to play him or play her? I don't really think about that. Um, but if I, um, you know, if I had to um, think about an actor or an actress, it would be somebody that could just basically just, you know, play any character that you put in front of them. Um, and his second question was, how old were you when you first saw Casper? Um, I saw Casper probably the year it came out, 1997, so I was four or five. I either saw Casper either the year it came out or the year after because I remember buying it brand new um, at Walmart, I think. Um, Walmart or Kmart, I'm not really sure. Um, those were the only places that I really bought movies from. I mean, because this was before I... You know, I knew what FYE was, and I knew what other uh, movie stores were. So probably either Walmart or Kmart, but so, but I would say, I would say four or five, because I know Casper came out in '97, I think. I think Casper came out then, and I was uh, let's see, I was born in '93, so. So yeah, I was about four in in '97. So I was I was so either '97 or '98. So I was either four or five. Um, that's one of my favorite movies. It's a movie that I grew up watching. It's one of my favorite childhood movies, and it's a movie that I still watch and I still absolutely love. I I think it's one of my favorite films of all time, and it's a movie that I that I just grew up watching. Um, so it, you know it means a lot to me. Whenever if it's a, if a, if I grew up watching a movie then it means more to me than, you know, um, you know, a movie if I saw it more recently because, you know, I grew up watching it. Um, so I do have some nostalgia to it. Um, you know, I have nostalgia to movies that I grew up watching, but I never watched anything bad. So even now I can still look back at movies I watched as a kid and I could still say, that's still a good movie. You know, um, I know some people, um, people talk about being blinded by nostalgia and they talk about, um, you know, oh, you know, you may have liked it as a kid, but now you're older, you, um, and I really think that usually movies that I enjoyed when I was a kid, um, are, that are still good movies, I mean, I still think they're good movies, so I would say I saw Casper when I was about four or five, just to answer your question. All right, so now I'm moving on to, um, next question is from Dead Inside, 
and they ask, do you enjoy the Scream franchise? And if so, do you have faith in the fifth installment? Uh, would uh, Do you have faith that the fifth installment would be good even without Wes Craven? Um, I do like the Scream series. Um, I have not seen the fourth one yet, though. I don't know why. I, I, I just haven't seen it, but I do really enjoy the first three. I know the third one is considered like the weakest of the original trilogy, uh, but I but I like it. Um, I have not seen the fourth one, so I so I still need to. Um, as far as the fifth movie, I think that it. I think as long as the the people that are doing it are doing it justice and doing it maybe the way that Wes wanted them to do it, or you know, I mean, I know. Um, I think everybody's coming back for the fifth movie, so I think that they'll do it justice for him. You know, um, so I am. Um, you know, so so I do think that they will do it. They will do it good. I um, you know, even without Wes. All right. Now my next, the next uh, couple questions are from Jared Griffiths. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. I know you've been subscribed to me for a long time. I really appreciate. It. I, I I see a lot of your comments, and I really appreciate those. And he has a uh, two questions. Um, the first one is. Have you made any videos you regret making? Um, no, um, but there are videos that I wish that I made better. Um, like when I first started doing YouTube, I was really new at it. So there were a lot of videos that I did during my first year on YouTube that I really don't, it's not that I don't like them. I like almost all my videos. There are a few of them that I don't like, but um, since I was just starting out, I really didn't know you know, um, a lot of, I was, I was still new to it. So I wasn't comfortable. Um, you know, I, I wasn't comfortable in front of the camera like I am now. Um, so there are videos, you know, during my first year on YouTube that I wish I could redo. Um, also there are some videos that I look back on and see, see the thing is, is that when I do videos and this doesn't happen all the time, but when I do videos, if I start a video off wrong, then, um, like if I'm trying to film an intro to a video, um, if I say something wrong, or if I just don't like the way that I'm, uh, that is coming out, I'll stop recording and then I will, uh, restart it again. Now, sometimes when this happens, it can take me four or five tries, um, just to get a video right. You know, because for some reason, the video might not be turned out the way that I want it. I might not say anything. For some reason, intros. I don't know what it is, but doing an intro to a video is always the hardest. Um, even this video, it took me uh, two tries because for some reason, I, when I started this video, I was like, oh, I'm about to answer my the questions to my question video. And I was like, wait, what? Um, so, um, you know, so I had to, uh, I had to redo the intro to this video and sometimes it can get really frustrating especially when you're redoing a video four or five times so there are some videos that i have that i've done that um it's like my fourth or fifth time filming it and by that point i'm frustrated that you know it's taking me so long to do a video and sometimes it might take me up to an hour just to do one video because i just keep saying something wrong or i'm not getting something right and after a while, I just get frustrated doing it, and I just get tired, and then I try to push through the video, so when I finally do do it, it doesn't turn out the way that I want it. Um, so, I, I do, there are some videos that I do wish I could, I could do again. There's also some videos that I wish that my camera quality was better. Like the camera, like I'm using my phone to record videos now, I'm not using a camera, and since my uh, my um, phone is an S6. It's kind of an older one. I've noticed that the uh, picture quality has really um, gone down, especially in my last two videos. Like in my last video, I noticed it and I was like, wow, that doesn't look that good. And I don't think this looks that good either. Like it looks fuzzy um, and all that. And I don't know what it is, but the, the it's just the brightness isn't really that. It's really like, like right here, like my, I have a window right here, but um, it, it's like the brightness is really over and if I do it right here then this looks fine but if I have my ceiling light on it just looks too bright um so you know I, I do so I do think I'll eventually when I get a new I'm hope I'm hoping I'll get a new phone um eventually and when I do that my videos will start looking better again but right now this is just what I have um so if you guys have noticed a decrease in my uh, in the picture quality of my videos that's why 
um, and I don't like that. I like my videos to look as good as they possibly can, but there are some videos where I was using an old camera. Um, I don't want to bring anything up, but the video that I, I posted after my dad passed away, it is horrible quality. I mean, I know that I didn't really care because I, I had that going on. But now that I look back, I don't look back at that. I don't like watch that video because, that, of course, that's a, a time in my life that I don't like to look back on. But um, the quality of it, the, of the video, just looked really bad. And, and there are some videos that I do wish I could redo with better quality. Um, but to answer your question, there aren't really any videos that I regret doing. Um, I do think that YouTube is a... Um, you know, it's a learning process. I think that when you first start doing videos, you don't really know what you're doing. You might be, um, you know, you, you might have anxiety because you're not used to being on camera. You might um, be nervous. So, you know, when you first start out doing videos, um, you know, your videos are going to, you know, um, your videos might, might look bad to you. And that's only because you're just not used to doing them. I mean, now that I've been doing it for a few years, I'm I'm comfortable in front of a camera. I still get a little bit of anxiety and I still get a little nervous, especially since my subscriber count has been growing. I know that I have a lot more eyes on me than I did before, but I've gotten comfortable where I, I, I feel like that, you know, I can just whip out my phone or whatever and do a video or, or whatever. So it doesn't bother me as much, but I think YouTube is, is definitely a learning process. And I think that the more more videos you do, the better they, they will get. Um, also, I'm someone that doesn't, this might sound weird, I don't like the sound of my own voice on camera. I mean, when I'm when I'm talking, I, I think I sound fine, but I just don't like the sound of my voice. So I don't look back on a lot of my videos because I don't like the sound of my voice on camera. Um, but yeah, to I know, I've, I, know I kind of um, went off. I'm trying to explain uh, my answers to these questions instead of just answering yes, no. Like I like to give you guys a, an explanation on why I'm answering it and why I'm, uh, you know, and, and and giving you guys a reason why I'm saying, you know, I'm giving you guys the answer. You know, I'm sure you, I'm sure you guys don't mind, but um, but to answer your question, no, I don't regret any, any videos that I've done, but I wish that I had made some of them better. Now the second question he has is which of these classic comedy teams is your favorite? Lauren Hardy, The Three Stooges, or The Little Rascals? I've been watching The Little Rascals a lot longer than Lauren Hardy and The Three Stooges. I grew up with the uh, the '90s movie The Little Rascals, so they have a really special place in my heart. So I would say The Little Rascals are probably my number one, but behind them is probably Lauren Hardy. I love the Three Stooges. I think that they're, you know, they're one of the best, if not the best, comedy team of all time. But if I had to pick favorites, probably the Little Rascals, um, and then probably Lauren Hardy and the Three Stooges. But I love the Three Stooges, so I kind of, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I kind of wish that, you know, they were a little. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't wish. I mean, I, I guess, I guess that. I guess you know, the Little Rascals are probably my favorite just because I've grown up with them longer, I've watched them longer, and then probably Lauren Hardy, and then probably the Three Stooges, so. All right, and we have one more question, and this is from Sue Geo Gold, and um, her question is, do you collect digital copies? No, I don't. Um, I don't really care about digital copies, unless, I mean, I know people go back and forth when it comes to physical media and digital and People were saying that eventually it's all going to go digital at some point, and I mean, okay. I mean, if it does, then I guess I'll start collecting them, or I, st I not collect them. I don't collect digital copies. I mean, I'll start keeping them, and I won't just start giving them out. I know there are people that do ask me if they can have my digital copies because I don't use them, and I don't really care. Um, I don't collect you know, I don't collect digital copies, I collect movies, you know, and that's always been my thing, like, people ask me, oh, do you, do you still collect DVDs, do you collect, I collect movies first and foremost, whatever, rather the format is Blu-ray, DVD, or VHS is, you know, of course, if I, if I'm gonna watch a movie, I want it in the best quality possible, so right now, Blu-ray is my number one thing that I collect, if a movie is not available on Blu-ray, then I have no problem getting it on DVD. Um, but, 
you know, so, but as far as digital c copies, no, I, I don't collect them. Like, I don't save them up, and I'm not like, I don't go online and, oh, they, they got this movie on digital copy. I'm going to spend $10 on that. No, I'd, I'd much rather buy a physical copy of it. Um, if it. But like I said, if it ever comes to a point where physical media, which I really hope this doesn't happen, and I don't see it happening... I don't see it happening like other people do. I think a lot of people think it's going to happen sooner than it is. But if you look at like what people are buying and stuff like that, I don't think physical media is going to go away as quickly as people think it is. Um, especially now that 4K is out. I mean, there's a new a new format is out. I mean, I know it's not taken off like Blu-ray, and I and I know why. Um, Matter of fact, Blu-ray isn't even the number one. DVD is the number one um, physical media as far as, from what I've seen, DVD. And I understand why. It's because, you know, people that grew up on VHS, they had to upgrade everything to DVD. And they just don't want to upgrade again. Um, it seems like, as far as Blu-ray, um, you know, it kind of seems like people that, that didn't grow up watching movies on VHS... Um, they, I, I can tell that people just don't want to upgrade to another format after upgrading all their movies to DVD. Um, so that's why I think that's the main reason why I think DVD is the number one format. Um, as far as from what I've seen, you know, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I mean that can change, you know, like 4K could take off next year and be the number one. I don't see it happening, but I think, you know, and that's also why they still sell DVDs is because DVD is still as far as formats that, and I'm not just talking about movie collectors, I'm not talking about people like me or people that watch my videos, I'm talking about the general public. I'm talking about people that don't collect movies, they just, they just want to watch a movie, they will, they will either go on to, they will either get on DVD or they'll go to Netflix or something like that. So, um, you know, the typical, you know, typical movie collect, uh, movie, uh, watchers, not collectors. Um, but yeah, to answer your, answer your question, no, I do not collect digital copies. Um, but uh, anyway, um, that is it on my. Uh, yep, let me just uh, look up because I've got I've got to pull it up right here on my. Uh, yeah, so that's all my question. I mean, that's all the questions that I got. So um, thanks everybody who uh, asked me a question. Um, I know that I kind of went off a little bit on other things, but I like to give my explanation as to why I think a certain way or why, uh, um, you know, like, like why something's my favorite or something like that. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you guys want to follow me on, on, um, social media, my links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are always down below. Um, and, uh, yeah, I probably won't be doing one of these again until I get like, a good amount of um more good amount of subscribers um my channel has actually been growing a lot more um lately so thanks to everybody who is uh you know thanks to everybody who's been watching thanks to everybody who's new um i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy um my content coming up um the next video i'll be doing will probably be my favorite summer movies and then after that um they will be whole related videos coming up now that October is coming up. I'm really excited for October. So um, I'll definitely be, uh, you know, definitely doing some horror and October related videos coming up. So hope you guys are excited for that. And once again, thanks to everybody who has subscribed. Rather you're somebody who has been subscribed to me for years or rather or you're somebody who's new. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I hope you guys enjoy my content. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.